and an update tonight on the abandoned motel across from the Block Island Ferry. Seagulls have been the only guests for the better part of a decade, but as 12 News reporter Katie McNeil tells us, the birds will soon have to find some other place to hang out. Katie? Yeah, well, the Lighthouse Inn, built in 1970, was once a hotel in the Port of Galilee, but has now become a decrepit and dilapidated mess. Since its closure in 2015, the structure was left vacant on its lot and has become more and more of an eyesore. This has caused agencies such as the DEM and Narragansett Town Council to push towards its removal. With the pre-demolition underway, the State Properties Committee has set a meeting on Friday to discuss the current lease, which controls the land on which the Lighthouse Inn is sitting on. This is the final step before demolition can begin. In the meeting, a vote will be held for approval for a termination agreement between the DEM and KRG Realty Company, as well as a new land lease between the DEM and Prex LLC. Under this new lease, Prex has agreed to improve the lots in question, as well as provide other site enhancements. Since the DEM already owns the land, these approvals will clarify the use of the lots associated with the Lighthouse Inn, as well as parking operations for the Block Island Ferry in Port of Galilee. The DEM's Chief of Public Affairs Officer Mike Healy says once the demolition of the inn is completed, the DEM will be responsible for landscaping the site. This will include installing grass and picnic tables. Once the area is revamped, it will be put into immediate use as a public area for people using the ferry as well as visitors to the port. And all parties involved in the current litigation of the lot associated with the Lighthouse Inn agree that the rundown hotel being demolished will benefit the community and commercial fishing industry in Galilee. We'll have updates on the upcoming meeting and demolition of the inn as we learn them. Live in studio, I'm Katie McNeil, 12 News.